Hi, hello, and welcome back to The Chair. Today we have another episode of If This Wasn't an Assignment, I Wouldn't Be Talking About It. Today we're gonna to be talking about poetry and specifically literature with the theme of love. So in order to make this video not a complete snooze and somewhat interesting for you guys to watch, I searched the web for the worst love literature that I could find, with the exception of a Bible verse, of course. So um, yeah, let's just hop right into it, I guess. All right, so we're gonna start by getting the Bible verse out of the way, just because it doesn't really fit the rest of the theme of the video as um, I'm taking more of a, a critical and sarcastic view on the poems um, that I'm choosing. So uh, yeah, the, the Bible verse that I chose was Song of Songs 4, verse 10. Uh, it says, your love delights me, my sweetheart and bride. Your love is better than wine, your perfume more fragrant than any spice. Uh, the the theme it's pretty self-explanatory as um, he is talking to his bride. Um, he get, he uses metaphor to to really get that point across as he says, "Your love is better than wine, and your perfume more fragrant fragrant than any spice." So uh, yeah, that was the Bible verse. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to the poems. All right, so the first poem that I chose um, is called "Ode to You." Uh, there is no author listed, which is probably for the best because this is a awful poem. So uh, yeah, I'll just read it. You are the starlight to my moonshine. You are the summer of my mind. You can complete a perfect square and still make jocks stop and stare. My heart goes boom. You can make a perfect sandwich if you want to. Baby, I won't force you. Please don't lay on that mayonnaise unless you want to. My stomach has room. You are so beautiful. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> so this entire poem just really seems like he's just trying to butter up his wife so that she would make him a sandwich um, by telling her that she is the starlight to his moonshine and stuff like that. It's really just an odd poem that I thought I'd share with you guys. He compliments her sandwich making skills by saying, you can make a perfect sandwich if you want to. By the end of the poem, he throws in one more thing to try and persuade her to make him a sandwich by saying, you are so beautiful. Now this poem is just really bad. Um, there is rhyme scheme. There is some poetic devices such as metaphor and automatopoeia as he says, my heart goes boom. But overall, it's just, just a terrible poem. And uh, yeah, I really hope that this was made ironically because if it wasn't, this person should definitely stop writing poetry forever because it's terrible. Now the second poem that I chose is a little bit offside, so sorry about that, but uh, yeah, it's, I just really wanted you guys to hear it, so uh, yeah, I'll just read it. It's called, Our Love is Like a Bowling Ball. Our love is like a bowling ball, like a brand new Brunswick red zone. It rolls and rolls down the alley of desire and rolls and rolls and rolls. I will keep you out of the gutters, my love, and put my fingers in your holes. Every kiss a strike, or at least a spare. Our future, a perfect game. Our love is like a bowling ball. Our scores will rise and rise. I shall never step beyond the foul line. And I will rend your shoes. This next poem is uh, entirely simile, as in the title it says our love is like a bowling ball. And frankly, this poem is quite disgusting at times, saying, <laughs> saying or comparing his his loved one to a bowling ball and saying that uh, you can he can put or he will put all of his fingers into her holes and that's kind of yeah just really gross this poem uses no rhyme scheme um, it's quite random at times too there's no real flow to it it's yeah it's just bad it's just a bad poem certified bad poem 
But like I said, he did use simile comparing their love to bowling. <laughs> yeah, that's home. Now the last piece of literature that I'm gonna talk about today is called Yummy by Justin Bieber. I'm sure you guys have heard this song before. Um, it's absolutely terrible and unironically terrible. Basically, I'm not gonna play the whole song because that'd just be torture to you guys' ears, but um, basically it's a song that he wrote to his wife and yeah. Here's a few of the lyrics. You got that yummy yum, that yummy yum, that yummy yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy yum. The lyrics are so bad that it kind of almost resembles something that I would have written in like grade four. Um, but yeah, it actually, <laughs> the funny thing about this is there's actually five writers on this song and the best they could come up with was this. Uh, at one point in the song, he calls his wife a bona fide stallion, which I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. Yeah, so it's really repetitive and it kind of just repeats the same lyrics over and over and over again, which is very impressive considering five, five people work on this. And as he was marketing it, he like, he kept asking for everyone to just stream it as much as they can so we could get to number one. It was really weird when he released it, but yeah, it's just a terrible, terrible piece of literature. Now, after all those poems and seeing how bad they are, I'm starting to think, is it even that hard to make a good love poem? So I did that, I wrote it, and yeah, here you go. See if you guys enjoy it and uh, see if it's better than any of these. After a grueling day of work, there's nothing I'd rather do than see you. Your warmth makes me feel at home. You're the answer to any rela relaxing event. Your scent is amazing and I can't explain it. Just thinking of it brings a smile to my face. Once you're with me, it's like all my problems melt away from your embrace. Finally, the time is right to bring you closer to my face. My lip makes contact and the taste is heavenly. I sit back down as I can't believe how happy you make me feel. And I begin to wonder what my life would be like without the loving embrace of a delicious chai tea. All right, that was my poem. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me say a huge thank you to our sponsor, uh, Zevia Zero Cows. So usually Zevia sponsors our Why Christianity videos, but uh, they were expecting they were expecting another video, or else they weren't going to give us uh, the the revenue for it. So this is the video. Thank you, Zevia, for sponsoring it. Um, use code Titus is hot for 20% off your first order and free shipping this time. Um, every time you use that link, uh, we get a little bit of money, so it helps us out and it helps us to continue to make the Why Christianity videos. So uh, yeah, big shout out to Zevia, and um, that's gonna be it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this one wasn't, you know, as interesting as past videos have been, but uh, stay tuned. Um, big things are coming with the Why Christianity series, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, we will see you later. This video is over now. Over now. You'll find something else to watch.